So we have a brand new patch for Howl Divers 2, patch 1.000.103. And today, guys, we get into all of these changes, fixes, balancing, absolutely everything. Okay, so the winner of yesterday's 2100 Super Credits giveaway is on screen now. Hit me up on my Discord link down below to claim your winnings. Guys, if you want to win 2100 Super Credits or this game, if you don't yet have it, Simply drop a like on this video, liberate the video with a thumbs up, make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on, and drop me a comment down below when it will be announced on tomorrow's How Divers 2 video. Simple as that. Okay, so the patch of 1.000.103. Let's get into it, people. Okay, so they state Good day, fellow Hay Divers, piping hot notes straight from the oven arriving. Overview. For this patch, we have implemented fixes to the XO45 Patriot Exosuit, game stats, UI, and general stability, balance improvements for planetary hazards and patrol spawns. Okay, so we're going to start with that balancing. Balanced and adjusted spawn rates for the various planet hazards, including tremors, meteor showers, volcanic activity, fire tornadoes and iron storms. Hazards should now spawn less frequently during missions. Meteor Shower has received the following changes in addition to reduced spawn rate. Reduced explosion radius, reduced meteor damage slightly, reduced meteor velocity slightly and the meteor colour has changed slightly to try and make it easier to spot. I mean, how hard are these to spot, people? Giant rocks falling out the sky? I mean, come on, get out of the way of them. To be honest, I die so many times to these damn things, it's unbelievable. Okay, so volcanic activity has received the following changes in addition to reduced spawn rate, reduced explosion radius, and reduced rock velocity slightly. And they say lightning on Fenrir 3 has been adjusted to be a bit less bright to improve visibility during meteor showers. Okay, so fixes. Reduced incidence of patrol spawning on players. Exosuit no longer destroys itself when firing a missile while turning. Absolutely hilarious, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Exosuit retains its melee functionality even when damaged. Pretty cool. Okay, so crash fixes for the following scenarios. When alt tabbing in full screen mode. After changing voice over language, PS5 a boot issue, using a steam inside of an exosuit while wielding a grenade, when joining an ongoing mission, and when idling on a title screen. Okay, so shots from arc based weapons, such as the Blitzer shotgun and the AC8 arc thrower stratagem, now count towards shots fired and shots hit stats. Fixed network desync issue and downed automaton dropships. Okay, so fixed Al Gato Steam Deck foot pedal support. Okay, so moving on to known issues now. These are issues that were introduced by this patch and are being words on or are from a previous version have not yet been fixed. Various issues involving friends, invites, and cross play. Cross platform friend invites might not show up in the friend request tab. Players cannot unfriend other players befriended via friend codes. Players cannot unblock players that were not in their friends list beforehand. Players cannot befriend players with Steam names shorter than three characters. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going down when it comes to friends, friends invite and cross play. I mean, what is going on here? Okay, so moving on to other known issues. How pod steering close to a large or important object is currently not functioning as intended, resulting in steering being disabled in a large area around the object. Online features are not functioning when console language is set to Ukrainian. Players may be unable to select loadout when joining a multiplayer via an activity card. Planet Liberation reaches 100% at the end of every Defend mission. Drowning in deep water with a Vitality Booster equipped puts Helldiver in a broken state. Exosuits will sometimes be delivered in a damaged or broken state. Wow, that would be embarrassing. Imagine you're relying on that thing that comes down broke. <laughs> Stratagem Beam might attach itself to an enemy, uh, but it will deploy in its original or to its original location. 
pink artifacts may appear in the sky when setting off large explosions and text chat box display is obstructed by the cinematic letterbox during extraction and lastly guys sometimes the players load out customizations will be set after you start in the game and there we have it guys that is the end of the latest patch of 1.000.103 now, I just want to move on to a few more leaks, and these could be possible story leaks as well, people. It regards what could be a new boss. So if this is something you don't want to hear, you don't want to be spoiled on, leave the video all right now. But what we saw last night over on the Reddit leaks, the Haldivers Reddit leaks, we saw a couple of really, really interesting drops. Obviously, been data mined from the files. First up, we have this one right here, dropped by the legendary Iron Sights. Automaton fleet ship, what could be a possible boss. Now, check out the files you can see on the screen now. We see only a couple of Stingray entry route, boss, boss pack, boss front, and physics. But we're also seeing, guys, a few images too. And this guy is absolutely... Now, we've seen this base... I saw this base model a few days back now, but it wasn't textured. That's the thing about this Reddit user, he fully textures these so you can see them, how they will look in game. So this is an automaton fleet ship, uh, but the, the files are linked to this, call it a boss. Now look at the size of this thing. Now a thing to remember, if you missed my video from yesterday, we saw this giant automaton rail cannon. Now this rail cannon is believed to be at least the size of eight bio titans lined up next to each other that gives you a well a size scale of how big this thing is and now we're seeing this ship here with that massive rail cannon weapon attached to the bottom of it so yeah guys this thing looks absolutely massive and again according to the files this is believed to be a boss so man oh man this is going to be absolutely unreal. It really is. Now, there's a couple more leaks that I'm going to go through and bring you guys a video on later today. There's actually quite a few decent ones uh, to do with the Illuminate and a couple of others. So, yeah, stay tuned for those, my beautiful people. But there we have it, guys. The latest patch of patch 1.000.103, as well as what could be a new boss coming to the game. This massive automaton ship. Wow, how is this thing going to even interact with these planets, with this game, with our players? That's going to be absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait for it, guys. But yes, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.